The Oshkosh Senior Center presents Senior Savvy. Hi, welcome to Senior Savvy. I'm Jane Wells, your host for today's show. Senior Savvy is brought to you by the Oshkosh Senior Center, where it's our mission to enrich the quality of life for adults ages 50 and older. And a little bit later in today's show, I have uh, um, some center participants who share their stories about what the center has brought to them in their life and, and what they've learned from being a part of the center. But um, first I would like to, before we go into that, I would like to introduce my guests on today's show, Mark Zemer, who is the manager of the center, and Jeff Lethan, who is the president of the Friends Board. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. It's, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Great. Thanks. So today we're going to talk about um, something that can sometimes be a little bit hard to talk about, and that's about money. And, and, and yet it's a great opportunity for people to find out a little bit about how they can support the Oshkosh Senior Center. And so let's all start. First, let's tell a little bit about each of yourselves. Mark, why don't you go first? Well, thanks for having us, Jane. Uh, my name is Mark Zemer. I'm the manager of the Oshkosh Senior Center. I.e. my boss. <laughs> and I guess the formal title is Senior Services Manager because we right. do try to do things community-wide with our Committee on Aging as well. Yeah. So mm -hmm. um, I like to tell people that uh, I'm a blessed man because after six and a half years on the job, we are fully staffed and we've got an incredible staff Don't that are coming together. <laughs> no, I'm not afraid of that. <laughs> so. Um, other than that, happily married for 30 years to have three incredible kids. Wonderful. There's my there's my short version. Right, and just celebrated a birthday. So, yeah, anniversary and a birthday in the there last four weeks. Not too bad. Almost 60. Almost. Almost. <laughs> and Jeff? Well, again, thanks for uh, the invite. Uh, I'm the president of the Friends of the uh, Oshkosh Senior Center. And basically, our job as the Friends is mm -hmm. to support Mark's and the staff's uh, center. And, uh, you know, I, I guess uh, it, it's a great opportunity that I have to lead the, the wonderful board that I have. Uh, and basically it's to raise money, to raise awareness of the center, to help fund it, because it's not fully funded by the city. Right. So, Mark, do you want to touch base on that just a little bit? Because I think there's a misnomer that, you know, oh, you get all the money from the city, and that's not the case at all. Budget continues to be a challenge, Jane, yes. and all, the three of us know that very well. Yes. Um, the city support has shrunk down to just over 50% now, and uh, <coughs> that's on a budget that's just over a half million dollars, so mm -hmm. that's a considerable amount of money that right. we raise through a variety of sources. Right. Uh, we get some county support, mm -hmm. which is second to the Friends. The Friends, right. the Friends of the Oshkosh Senior Center is the single second largest support to the city of Oshkosh. Right. Yeah. Right. And so Jeff, um, you know, you've got one year under your belt now as president of the Friends Board and um, it's been fun to watch you in action. And so let's talk a little bit about what is a friend. What does it mean to be a friend of the Oshkosh Senior Center? Well, you know, I guess think about uh, your best friend that you have in life. That, that friend that's a friend to you and to your family, what does that person mean to you? It's, you know, it's mm -hmm. someone that you can count on, it's someone that you can trust, that's there for anything that you ask for, and basically the friends of the Oshkosh Senior Center are that to the Oshkosh mm -hmm. Senior Center. Uh, we're there to support them, to promote them, to stand behind them, and uh, ultimately we're, we're a not-for-profit group, and every single penny that we raise goes right back into <coughs> the center and you know that's the great part of being a friend. Right. You know the the whole board is a friend, and we have just over a thousand people that are friends as for the uh, the year 2013. And uh, that was one of my goals when I took over is that we increase that. And uh, guess what's on my agenda for number <laughs> 2014? Right, the exactly. same thing. And right. uh, if we can increase that 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 support and uh, the care and what Mark needs to run the center right. is going to help. So. To be a friend means that I am financially supporting. I'm giving some type of contribution, and that then makes me a friend of the Oshkosh Senior Center. Correct. Uh, you're yep. just offering support. It's, right. it's a mere 
fifteen dollars mm. for a single or twenty dollars for a couple. That, right. That's the minimum that we we ask for, which right. in today's world is really nothing. Yes, a cup of coffee at some other place, right? <laughs> or something. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, and you said that um, you have about a thousand friends right now. Correct. And then it'd be interesting to hear some of your goals for 2014 in terms of what we hope to see, you know, how we hope to increase that friendship. I'll throw a challenge out. Okay. Our counterparts to the south, Fond du Lac, and the city of Fond du Lac Senior Center have over 2,000 friends. They're a smaller community. So I'll challenge all the viewers and this right. community to raise the bar on top of that and double our current numbers and right. maybe triple or quadruple them right. because this community could support us to that level. We just have to get the word out. Right. And today's message mm -hmm. hopefully will help right. in that process. You know, and the mission of the Oshkosh Senior Center is to enrich the quality of life for adults ages 50 and older. Do I have to be 50 to be a friend? Oh my gosh, absolutely <laughs> not. Uh, uh, you know, one of the best ways to do it is help your parents or grandparents mm -hmm. become involved in the center. There's so much opportunity right. to uh, companionship, to mm -hmm. uh, just being with, with friends and, and meeting new friends. So, no, you can be a friend of any age. Right. Exactly. Yeah. But in order to actually come and participate in activities at the center, then I do need to be that magical number. We, well... That is our requirement. Right. Our, our written requirement is we serve people 50 and over. Correct. We have made exceptions to that rule. Mm -hmm. There are certain classes or groups where you will find someone younger participating because they've come to us and asked. Mm -hmm. And our policy is if there's room for them, yep. they are welcome. Yes, exactly. If exactly. we would ever be at capacity, then we would <clears> serve <throat> just people 50 and over in a certain class. So. So if I am coming to the Oshkosh Senior Center, do I have to pay a membership fee or anything like that? No membership fee. In fact, membership's a naughty word around there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We're emphasizing be a friend. Right. Um, in fact, years ago in the history, they tried it. Mm -hmm. There was a membership mm -hmm. fee at one point. They did away with it because right. more people were discouraged by that than er encouraged by that. So. <clears throat> There are many things at the Senior Center you can come and do for free. Yes. There mm -hmm. are many things that you can come and do for a nominal user fee. That's a dollar right. twenty-five starting January first, and and then there are those things like a basket making class that mm -hmm. the materials cost right twenty, thirty, forty dollars if it's a large basket. Right. The time for use of space and the teacher is right. minimal, so it varies widely. Right. And all those are listed in the newsletter. Right. Um, but again, there is no. Um, you don't join the Oshkosh Senior Center. Anyone is welcome to come and participate, whether you're a resident of the city of Oshkosh or a non-resident. There's a slight difference in, in what you would pay if you're a non-resident versus a city resident. Um, but, but the friend, being a friend is separate than coming to the center and participate. You don't have to be a friend to come to the center to participate, although it really makes sense to be a friend if you're coming to the center to participate because then you're supporting the cause and giving greater good to all. <laughs> and my take on that, be a friend. Do you support older adults staying active, whether that's right. your parents, whether that's <clears throat> your grandparents or neighbors or, or other relatives who are older? Mm -hmm. At any age, I hope people embrace the fact that, right. especially the Oshkosh Senior Center, uh, in the numbers of things that we have to offer, that anybody of any age right. would say 15 bucks at a minimum. If I have more, maybe more, but exactly. I can be a friend and I can support that because, right. because of what we'll get into in the rest of our, right. our sharing right. at, in the program today about the diversity of what is offered there. So. Right. And I think you know all of us sitting here at this table really believe in what we're doing at the center. Absolutely. Um, we really are adding to the quality of life for this whole community. Um, and we believe strongly in that. Um, I would like to share a little bit of a story. Uh, I had a chance to videotape a gentleman named Ron Schmitz who spends a lot of time in our woodworking shop. And he has shared just a little bit about what he all does when he comes down to the center and how that has enriched his life and what he gets out of coming to the center. So this is just one person or one example of the support and who it benefits when they come to the center. So um, we're gonna enjoy Ron Schmitz sharing his story now. Good morning, my name's Ron Schmitz, and I'm working as usual in the wood shop. I come here almost every day. Before I started coming to the wood shop, I was a commercial artist. 
And then I got older and decided to retire and didn't know for sure what I was going to do. So I met a couple of guys who said, you got to come to the wood shop because they'll teach you how to do woodworking. And I did, and these are some of the projects that I've been building as of late. Normally I'm a bird carver, but I like, really I like to build wooden furniture, which I give to the, the kids or the grandkids. I have six children, 11 grandkids, my wife Juanita. Here at the Senior Center, I found out that it's helped my memory, uh, helped keep it sharp. I've made a lot of new friends here. They have beautiful equipment in the wood shop. And I had never had uh, accessibility to woodworking equipment. As a commercial artist, I painted and drew a lot of pictures, but never actually built anything. So it's been good from that standpoint. Also, I took Spanish, or I'm in the process of taking Spanish. And I took a little creative writing course. So I've had a good time at the wood shop. And when I'm not doing anything like woodworking, then I take the sawdust, mix it with glue and wax, and make fire starters that they sell at the wood shop. So it's a lot of fun. I'm having a good time. The wood shop is located in the North Building at the Oshkosh Senior Center, and it's open Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Call 232-5300 for more information. I want to thank Ron for sharing his story and I don't know if you picked up in there or not but he never started woodworking until after retirement so just because you're retiring um, there are so many things yet to learn in life and experiences yet to experience so um, we hope to encourage that down at the Ashgast Senior Center there's people learning all over the place so it's really kind of cool so one of the questions somebody might ask is where does my money go okay so I will be a friend but where does my money go a primary portion of the budget is staffing. Um, we have two gorgeous facilities mm -hmm. where uh, we are able to do all sorts of programming. Again, what we're gonna share here in the next few minutes, but um, to be honest, uh, a significant portion of the budget is staffing. And like I said before, the total budget is probably closing in on 550,000 uh, to uh, support the I didn't bring all my cheat sheet yeah. numbers. Uh, do we have 11 or 12 staff now? <laughs> but right. Somewhere around there. But the programs that we do are, are amazing. And that's, you know, one of the things that, that certainly the contributions help to support is our programming. So let's just go through some of those and let's share a little bit about what we all do at the Oshkosh Senior Center. So um, we have a program or kind of what we base it on are the seven dimensions of wellness. Yeah, the staff that I've mentioned previously truly emphasize um, all seven dimensions at, at varying degrees, but to go through them quickly and then we'll touch on them a little bit longer as we go slide to slide. Number one, everyone expects us to have social opportunities at a senior center, but along with that, Oshkosh, second to none in the state, offers physical opportunities and classes and equipment that they can use. Um, and that comes with a small fee, a monthly fee or daily or an annual pass. But then in addition, um, it is emotional and intellectual where there is educational classes or getting in touch with where you're at personally. Um, we do touch on spirituals through a couple of different offerings, environmental as well, a couple of different offerings. And the, f the seventh one is called occupational, which throws people at first because as they're growing older, they might have a part-time job, but occupational also includes unpaid employment, which is volunteering. Right. And our budget is literally doubled <coughs> by the value of volunteer hours, the, the value of over 400 volunteers giving time throughout the year, uh, according to the state average per hour, is valued at another half million dollars. So right. we right. use volunteers heavily. Right, and just the, the whole premise behind the seven dimensions of wellness is that you, you need that balance in every area of your life in order to be you know, a whole well-rounded person. You can't be too much of this or too much of that. So we have about 
a few minutes left, so we're going to quickly go through these. We also have arts, crafts, and handicrafters. Um, we have, like you said earlier, basket weaving classes, ceramics, hands-on clay, knitting, crocheting, painting, wood shop, um, just a variety of things to appeal to the creative person and the crafty person. And um, by crafts, um, don't um, many of these people are highly skilled, um, so to call them crafts hardly seems fair. They're, it really is an art of what they do. So we also have our exercise and fitness area. We're Wide variety of, uh, as you see on the screen, from line dancing, a number of classes, a wide variety of classes that you can come and take as a group, or you can come in and use equipment on your own or with friends and, and make it a social in, uh, engagement as well. Health and wellness, of course, we have our foot care clinic, and we just kind of reworked that room a little bit to give it more of a spa atmosphere, and that is actually one program where we're hoping to grow a little bit more. But we also have monthly informational programs to deal with a wide variety of health issues and things like that. Education along the lines of, uh, and in addition to support groups too. Right, cards and games and all that kind of fun stuff. And Jeff, you know, of course, um, Mark alluded to it earlier, but the volunteering aspect, and you as the board president are, f are a volunteer. And Absolutely. Uh, you know, and there's so many opportunities to, to come down from uh, working the front desk to doing some clerical or office work, folding of our, our wonderful newsletter that's put out every month. Uh, the friends, we are constantly in need of mm -hmm. looking for uh, new ways to help raise money. So if, if anyone has an ideas or wants to become involved, please contact us. Uh, class instructors, uh, there's a whole wide variety of it. And just some notes that I have, there are uh, over the year 5,100 programs run through that building and 58,000 people right. that it serves. So that's why as, as the mm -hmm. president of the Friends, we need to raise money to help support to make sure those 58,000 right. and maybe 65,000 next year right. can make it, make it happen. Right, and as Mark said, we could never do what we do there without our volunteers, and so that is a, a very important component of what we all do at the Oshkosh Senior Center as well. Um, so how does the Oshkosh Senior Center affect the quality of life in Oshkosh? From improving health um, to giving people a place to go. As you grow older, at some point in life, you're going to probably be alone. Yeah. And to come down and, and be in a place with people of your own age and make new friends or just be mm -hmm. around people, like I said, people of your own age can be supportive. An incredible array of information and resources yes, access exactly. through our Senior Connection Office and Leah and just through other staff, uh, depending on what the needs of an individual mm -hmm. might be. We support caregivers. Um, we have numerous opportunities to learn life skills and just information about growing older. Right. Accessing benefits and what, what you're entitled to or uh, if you're a veteran, the rules are different than you mm -hmm. are if you are dealing with a pension or you have nothing to fall back on, then what are the answers? Um, <laughs> and right. on and on and on. Right. <laughs> and you know, one thing that amazes me is there are so many stories within the Senior Center. Um, just people sharing, you know, where life has taken them, the roads that they've walked on, the things that they've learned, things that they still want to learn. And so I do have another video to share with you, and this is Frank Zern. And Frank was in the wood shop one day, and I um, happened to notice he had his violin there, and he was kind enough to pull out his violin and share. Now, Frank, although he is very active in our wood shop, um, what I found was interesting is that he did not start to learn the violin until age 81. So never even started before then so just don't ever think you're too old to learn something new so this is a little spot that i got to a little bit of time that i got to share with frank good morning my, my name is frank zern and i usually don't fiddle around in the woodworking shop because we have good helpers and today ron schmitz helped me uh, get some uh, oak lumber planed and a size for a homemade church pew. And uh, that's, that's the work in progress. And I brought this along. It's a, uh, just a little bit of, uh, uh, of a fun thing to uh, uh, lighten the day's hard work. So uh, I, I started to play this about five years ago, 81, and it's uh, helped my brain. And when I come for thinking and when I come down to the woodworking shop, it helps my brain for thinking and constructing. So it's, a, it's kind of a, a double benefit. But this one's just for fun. 
and uh, it's uh, probably only uh, once in a, uh, once in a blue moon that you'll see somebody actually fiddling around in a woodworking shop. So I'll give you a couple of strains of Edelweiss. Thank you. To find out more about how you can keep learning at the Oshkosh Senior Center, please call 232-5300. I certainly want to thank Frank for sharing that and wasn't he a character fiddling around and he did all of that off the cuff last minute so um, the, the personalities that are around the center are fantastic and are just so enjoyable to actually spend time time with people that are around the center I learn so much every day so gentlemen um, 2014 is right around the corner what's new what's coming up well we've got a new logo uh, I think we got a slide for that. Yep. Um, if you saw in the opening credits, the uh, logo is kind of funky and different. And now I think we're right on target showing three active people. It still mm -hmm. captures the wave of the city of Oshkosh, but the emphasis on stay active, stay, stay social, and stay informed is just a small representation back to those seven dimensions. Right. And we are excited, of course, to have our new logo and, and um, yeah because it really does represent what we do at the center. We hope to, as we move forward, continue to try to meet the growing demands. If anybody's reading newspapers and magazines, they're seeing doubling numbers of seniors. I'm one of them. I'm part of that baby boom generation. And in addition to doubling numbers of seniors, they are projecting four to five times as many people 85 and older. Now, if they stay healthy and active as they are until they get to that age, I dare say that that number is going to double or triple in our buildings for those mm -hmm. people that are 85, even up to 90 and 95. So on the slide now, you're seeing uh, a possible rendition of the North Building, the old Dewitt Center, for those of you that have been around Oshkosh for more than seven, eight years that we, we've owned that property. And that's just a quick glimpse, glimpse excuse me, at uh, where we hope to go with uh, some building, uh, completing the building, right now we use about half of it and the rest is just storage. So lots of dreams. We're going to open starting the first of the year till 4 o'clock in the north building, which currently closes at 2.45. So a few of the things that we're looking forward to in 2014. Right, and we can't even begin to think about a growth plan at all without, without the help and the support of the friends. So, um, you know, you're instrumental in, in where we go from here. So we are excited about those new expanded hours in the North Building. Um, we also have, you know, if you've never been to the Senior Center, I think that it's easy to make a lot of assumptions about it. Um, I can't tell you how many people in their 70s have said, I'm too young to go to the Senior Center. Um, but it is a live and vibrant place, and we want to show that off a little bit. So we are having an open house um, January 7th from 3 to 6 p.m. And we will have activities going on and things going on that you can come and partake in or at least observe in both buildings, both in the North Building and in the South Building. Please come out and take a look, but come and tell us what you want. Um, we, at, at, at this point, we're not expanding our hours past 4 o'clock, but we're, we're talking and planning and dreaming about that happening. I hope sometime in 2014, but beyond hours, come out and take a look at we do, what we do offer and, and challenge us to do things that you would want us to do and that would bring you into our buildings. You know what guys, just uh, out of curiosity, you know, from someone that's newer to the facility that, mm -hmm. that has spent some time, at least a, a year as the president of the Friends, uh, you know, you talk about the 5,100 different programs and the nearly right. 60,000 people it serves. Uh, it's, it's kind of ironic because we call it, it is the Oshkosh Senior Center, but it's really an activity center. It really and is. And when you walk through yes. the different facilities, there are so many activities going on. And mm -hmm. th there again, it's that, that 50 and above. And you, right. uh, you know, don't be afraid to come down. And the, right. the friends will be at the open house and uh, come and see us. We'll talk to you about becoming a friend. Yes. And uh, what it takes uh, to help run that facility. So right. come and on right. down. That open house is a great opportunity to find out just a little bit more about the friend program and and what it means to be a friend. Okay, so 
I'm all on board. I want to be a friend. How do I do that? Or what, how does that happen? Or what? Tell me about that. Well, a <laughs> couple, couple of things going on. Uh, right now, in the newsletter that was uh, sent out to, to the current uh, friends and that are around the city, there's actually a page in there that talks about the facility and mm -hmm. uh, the, the annual campaign that we're going on right now, the annual appeal right. to become a friend. That's in the newsletter. The flip side of it actually is the sign-up sheet that you can uh, fill it out. Again, okay. uh, a, a simple donation of $15 for an individual or $20 for a couple. And if you can afford it a little bit more, there's different categories. Right. And, and uh, uh, please, you know, right. sign up. The best way, if you don't get the newsletter, stop in. Mm -hmm. Stop at either one of the, uh, the facilities. The front desk will, will have uh, information sure. and can certainly sign people up. And uh, I'm sure Mark's staff can take people on tours if, if need Oh, be. definitely, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. So. We, we love when we get requested for tours because mm -hmm. it's a chance to show off. So right. if you've never been, if that name scares you a little bit, whatever's stopping <laughs> you, please give it a shot. Exactly. And, uh, and give us your opinion. If right. there's something that's not working for you or maybe you'll be surprised and you'll find something that really is worth coming in and, and getting active with. So. Um, that's the response I get the most from people is just pure, oh my gosh, I never knew. I never knew that this is, this was here, that this is so cool and all that stuff. I just want to go back to one point you said earlier, um, our newsletter, and it's called The Current, and it is available online um, through the City of Oshkosh website under Senior Services, and it also goes out to hundreds of businesses in the community. So you can pick up a copy at any of those businesses, or we have lots of copies, of course, available at the center itself. So you can get it online, you can get it at area businesses, or you can get it at the Senior Center itself. And like you said, in there is the letter or the, the actual appeal, the ask, where we ask you, could you please help us and could you become a friend of the Oshkosh Senior Center and help support us? So um, that's in the current newsletter. So. And if you become a friend, you get one mailed to you automatically if that's your choice. Yes, exactly. So one of the little perks. <laughs> what, what, right. Jim, one of the goals that I had, as I said before, was to increase the, the membership, mm -hmm. which we have in 2013. and, and uh, something for our audience that I, I'm going to challenge everyone and every one of the thousand people that we have as current is to come up with one more, right. one more friend. Right. And guess what, Mark? Then we're almost at or above what Final Act has, and we, and we can uh, certainly match that. <laughs> it's it's that simple. Mm -hmm. And it's the time of giving. And you know what? You know what would make a really great gift mm -hmm. is if someone gifts a friend. Exactly. You know, if you know someone right. that's out there or. Uh, Give them a gift of a friendship sponsorship, and uh, it certainly will pay for itself the whole year long. Exactly. I would, I would challenge even a special friend of an older adult of any age is welcome to be a friend. Mm -hmm. But if you gift that, I love that idea, Right. that a neighbor, an older adult neighbor, all of a sudden starts receiving the, the current, the newsletter, and maybe flips through and sees some reason to get involved and become healthier and active and find right. a, and, fi and make right. new friends. Right, because we know that it's the isolation and the disconnect that that is um, what affects seniors so negatively. It and takes so the, the more we can of keep life yes, right down. Exactly. And so it's all yeah. about keeping them connected and keeping them engaged and meeting people where they're at, whether they're the 50 year old seniors or the older seniors. And so, you know, we, we go all the way around with it. Well, thank you, gentlemen, so much for coming on the show today and sharing a little bit about you know your, your roles yeah. that each of you play. And thank you for having the vision to to lead us and and where we go from here is exciting. It's it's a great place to work. It's a great place to be involved. And Jeff, thank you for your volunteerism, because not only are you president of the board, but then we kind of get you in all different other areas. So you that's just do. that's just how it works. I'm sorry. You <laughs> So thank you again, gentlemen, yeah, for both of your work that you do. Great place to be. Thanks, Jane. All right. I want to thank you for watching on City Cable Channel 10 or for listening on 101.9 WOCT. Thanks for watching Senior Savvy, and please become a friend. <laughs>